If the enemy is attacking you, as much as he's attacking you in your life, I want to ask the question, what is it about you that he knows that is causing him to attack you like that? If he's looking for someone to devour and he's picking on you, then what is it about you that causes you to be a target? What is he after? What is it that God has inside of you that may even be unknown to you right now that he sees about your future that is causing him to fight you so hard like that? What is this spirit of heaviness that's been on you lately really about? See, because I know on the surface we tell ourselves, well, the reason I'm depressed is because I just suck, because I'm not much, because I don't have the resilience, I don't have the fortitude, I don't have the moral character. That's why I'm dealing with this insecurity. Is it? Is that why you're dealing with the insecurity, because you're really a nobody? Or is the devil looking for someone, someone who has something, something that they don't see the true value of yet so that he can catch you in your vulnerability so that you never see your true value so that you never do what God gave you to do in the earth. What's he after? What's he after? If you've been discouraged, really discouraged and down in your soul lately and you've been thinking, that must mean that my best is behind me, is that really true? Or is there something, I'm just curious, is there something so significant in the next stage of your life and you can't see it? But maybe the enemy has more vision for your life than you do because he sees something that's in you in a seed form. And if it ever comes forth, if it ever gets watered, if it ever gets light, if it ever gets full grown, it's going to spread out and bear fruit and touch lives and change the world. I was reading a book on world-class athletes, guys that are in the Olympics. All of them, it said in this study, had one thing in common. At some point in their life, they have profound trauma and deep loss. Mm. And they push through it and they increase their pain threshold. Mm. And so they, the, the clinician literally said their training was in their trauma. What it does, God uses the adversity to strengthen you. Mm. And so, you know, the world-class athletes, they're like, I can keep going because I know how to push through pain and increase my pain threshold. And so the key for a man is this, always just pushing yourself to the very limits of breaking and then getting stronger. Yeah. But we live in a day when guys are over-mothered, under-fathered, path of least resistance, and you've got a whole generation of guys that are like, I'm gonna live with my mom and I'll drive Uber, and as soon as I make the $80 I need for the day, <laughs> I'm going to go home and call it a day. It's mm. like, no, I want to see what breaks me. Mm. And then I want to heal from that. And I, I want to go further and I want to have a heavier load. You know, the key as a man is you're not competing against other men. Every day you're getting up and you're competing against yourself. Yeah. It's like, what did God make me to, to, to be and to do? And where does my breaking point and what is my pain threshold and what is my responsibility level? And some guys would be like, well, what if you fail? You're going to. As a man, you will fail. Yeah. As a man, you will get fired. As a man, you will lose. And then you will get up the next day and you'll fight through it. And once you overcome it, then you're going to be a man that other people respect. What will God's word do in your life? And the answer is, it depends on what you need. Because if you're hurting, his word will give you hope. If you're lost, his word will direct your steps. If you're doubting, 
His word will build your faith because faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. If you're anxious, you'll learn to cast your anxiety on him. Why? Because he cares for you and he will give you a peace from heaven that goes beyond your human ability to understand. If you're trapped in a life that you never wanted, he will give you a truth that will set you free. The creator of the universe wants to say to you today, I love you so much that I watched my son suffer because I want you to know how much I love you. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. He says, you're my son, you're my daughter. I love you, not because of what you did this week right, not because of what you might have done this week wrong, not because of what's happened in the past, because of who you are. I love you, son. I love you, daughter. I remember when our first son was born, I looked at Jill and I said, I didn't know my heart had the capacity to love like this. That's what God's saying. I love you. You're my child. Take that in. Just receive it. Throw out the lies and enjoy that for a second. I'm loved by God. I'm convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor demons, neither the present, nor the future, nor any powers, neither height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. He says, I just love you and you can't lose it and would you just receive that today in Jesus' name. That'll start to build your confidence. That'll start to give you some security to begin walking in your calling. No matter what you do, you are not too far away from him. He always will come and accept you back and open arms. Bro, I'm gonna start crying even talking about it, bro. Every time I start to tear up, bro. And then when you when you understand the type of love that God has for you, that it's not it's not a, a, a feeling of love. It's it's a love by choice, meaning like he doesn't have to feel it. He just chooses to love you the same way a father loves his son, even though his son is going down the wrong path, that he will always can come back home to him and he will love him with open arms endlessly, time and time again. There's nothing that you can do to make God not love you, bro. And I hope you understand that.